Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a work from home routine and what my days look like on an atypical basis because I planned on this being a typical day routine and it totally got out of hand and it is really nothing what my days look like but here's an off day for you guys. This morning I woke up at 7 instead of 6.30, 6, 6 I slept in a little bit because Riker hasn't been sleeping very well. I get up, brush my teeth, and I tossed some tinted moisturizer on. I just use this Neutrogena, and I'm using my hands because the, the kids lost my beauty blender once again. Tossed some clothes on, grabbed some warm socks out of the dryer, left the clothes on the floor. You guys, this was, this was a day. This was a morning for me. Mike typically is not home in the mornings and he was actually home because he had the car seats so he got there about 7 15 ish got the kids up got them dressed for me he is an angel because most of the time that is me who gets to do that so he helped me out this morning and then i was able to just get dressed come downstairs and not have to worry about getting the kids dressed along the way but on a typical morning, I will get them dressed and then head downstairs. And I was starting a roast on this morning as well. This I'm really glad that I actually captured because it turned out so good. But first things first, I have to get the kids their breakfast. They are having a poppy seed muffin that I split in half because they're the giant ones from Sam's Club. They're just too big for them to eat on their own. Um, so back to the roast, what I did is I took a tablespoon of this beef broth base, got that from Sam's Club, and then I also added a packet of the Lipton onion soup mix, and then I added a little bit of the dry Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning, like just like a enough to cover the bottom if you will. Um, and then I put two mugfuls of water in there because I had a really big roast and then I whisked everything together. Now the two mugfuls as well, that's going into a really big crock pot, which looking at my crock pot now I definitely need to shine her up a little bit. She's looking a little sad, but with the roast size and my crock pot size, the two mugs were plenty. Be careful because you don't want your roast floating in water. But then on top, I added this beef and brisket rub, which is from Pit Boss. I think Santa Claus brought that for us for um, like Christmas time. We always get a bunch of seasoning for Christmas, FYI. <laughs> anyway, um, and then I try to start separating out my supplements and vitamins and have a little bit of breakfast for myself. Most of the vitamins and supplements I take are for my UTIs, etc. Here is a cute clip of the kids sharing and eating breakfast and making a massive mess on the table. Muffins are super messy. And then I also like to sh turn on some kind of show for them. In the morning, I like Octonauts and I like um, the kids like Octonauts or Coco Melon is typically what they choose or Cat in the Hat. Um, and then I go back to my breakfast, down the rest of my vitamins, and I will get into that in a morning routine for you, a super detailed morning routine. I'll run through my vitamins. I have done this in the past, um, so I will try and find a video and link it up here for you guys. But then I move on to my coffee, which I just use my cold brew coffee maker coffee. And then I add a little bit of sugar-free syrup in there along with unsweetened vanilla almond milk that I froth in my frother and this makes cold foam. It's amazing and I love it so much. Um, anyways, so this is actually not a typical morning for me either. I have been off keto for about four weeks now. I've been losing still, which is great, um, but usually I will intermittent fast until noon and I just have black iced coffee. And then I bring Kaya to daycare. Hi guys, all right, so now that we have Kaya at daycare slash preschool, I typically will go home or this is when I do my errands. So right now I am recording a shop with me at Target. I need to get that filming done. So I'm gonna head into Target here with Riker and then I'm gonna go home and my goal is to always be back by about noon so that I can give him lunch and then get him down for a nap around 12.30 or one. And to be honest with you guys, he, I mean, he is, look Yay. at him right now. He has been a stinker boy and is not going down for a nap until closer to 2.30, 3 o'clock, even though I lay him down at like 12.30 or 1. So anyway, I just wanted to be really honest with you guys and like share this like really weird nap sleep regression. Yay. He's trying to break out. Okay. All right. 
time to go film a shop with me and then I will show you guys what the next step in my routine is. Right now it is 10.15 to give you guys an idea of like time-wise what I'm doing. Another thing I want to mention really quick too is throughout the day I am constantly answering m and rustic messages and checking my email and sometimes when I'm sitting here in a parking lot this is a really good time for me to just really quick go through my email to see if anything has come in that I need to respond to right away um, and then go through my m and rustic messages to see if there are any customers trying to arrange or schedule or order anything. Um, um, so that is what I do during this time of day um, and I always communicate these things with Mike but Mike does work a full-time job during the day and then comes home and helps with M&M Rustics and the kids at night so all right Riker just threw his boots out the window so we are gonna go <laughs> okay I just got done in Target I know the lighting's bad but I need to try and show you guys my outfit I literally have okay here's one Here's two. I've got two completely different colored socks on. Totally forgot until I got in there and I passed a mirror and I was like, wow, that is me. Good job, me. Okay, we just got out of Target. It is 11.15. I've tried to record this clip a couple of times, but I'm struggling. Okay, it is 11.15. Um, I'm running a, a little bit ahead of schedule, so I'm just really quickly going to share um, a Target haul for you guys. I will try it on for you too when I get back home. Um, if you guys are new here, I have been on a weight loss journey. I've lost 50 pounds since November. Um, and I'm exploring like with my new body. As you guys know, I've got two babies. I have my five and a half year old Kaya, um, and she is in preschool. She'll be going into kindergarten this fall. And then I have Riker and he just turned two and I, he stays home with me, um, during the day and he is my little buddy so and then Kaya is like my best friend she tells me all the time she's like mama you're my best friend and I love it she's just that girl has a personality on her and she is going places anyway those are my kiddos and with my first pregnancy I gained about 100 pounds I was already like 30 pounds overweight at the time so I was carrying around 130 pounds of extra weight um, I have kind of bounced back and forth since having Kaya and then um, getting pregnant again and then losing, or I lost weight in between the two pregnancies and then I got pregnant, lost everything that I had gained with him and now I've just been in this limbo. So long story short, I was about 130 pounds overweight by the time I gave birth to my daughter. And I've lost 100 pounds, so I only have about 30 pounds left to go on this weight loss journey. And if you guys want to follow any of my recipes, etc., I do have like TikTok videos on that and all the things. So, um, but anyways, I've been experimenting with this new body of mine, which isn't the exact same as what it was before having babies, and that's okay. Mom. I feel very confident, I feel very sexy, Mom. and I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> yes, buddy. What? What? Did you have the bar? Oh, did you drop this? Oh, here you go. Let me run through really quickly before I lose somebody's patience. Um, what I got, and I will do a really fast try on when I get back to the house as well, but I got the mom jean shorts that everybody is talking about. I also got this bodysuit in size large um, because my torso is smaller. Okay, so I also, I also grabbed um, the sweatshirt. I, oh, that's a very cute. <laughs> guy walking by. Um, I grabbed this sweatshirt in an XL um, so that I'd be a little bit more oversized. I've got um, some like bigger hips so I have a small torso and then wide hips. I like very hourglassy but like accentuated if that makes sense. So anyway I got this and to go with that I got um, these shorts. Looks like this and this is the Knox Rose brand from Target and usually I don't find a ton of things that I like from them, but this was really cute. So anyway, okay, that's what I got from Target and I am going to try it all on when I get home, but it is time to get back, make some lunch. I also need to finish filming my whole house clean with me. Um, and I, like I told you guys throughout the day, I will, um, I will, oh goodness, where's my phone? Thank goodness for the pinging. Okay, so throughout the day, I will check my, my email and my messages oh, no. and um, yeah sure enough there's like three emails I need to get back to so I am going to do that really quickly message a couple of customers and then 
um, get going back to the house. Okay, it is dark in here because Riker is sleeping. Um, here's the one sweater. I actually think I'm gonna return a few of these things. Um, this one is, okay, so I have like the longest torso ever. And I feel like this hits at a really, should be either like a little bit higher or a little bit lower. It like hits at a very awkward spot and I'm not like a huge fan. I thought I'd love these like bell sleeves, but I'm, I don't know, I just feel a little bit uncomfy in this. And the shorts um, made me look like I was wearing a diaper because I've got a big booty. Um, so I'm not like a huge fan of those, but let me show you my favorite outfit. Okay, so here are the infamous mom jean shorts. These are a heck yes. I can't believe how flattering these are like can you see that that is insane okay these are like three buttons come up um i also got that black bodysuit which looks super cute like tucked in um and then this is the knox rose sweatshirt like super lightweight um good for summer and spring sweatshirt so i've committed to these two items for sure um with my curvy <laughs> My curvy body, okay, I've got a booty, big old booty, big old hips. Um, some, sometimes I just need like something to suck me in versus the oversized like sweat shorts were just, it made me look like I was wearing a diaper. It like looked, made me look like I was wearing a diaper. It was super unflattering, but um, I will be committing to this outfit because, oh my gosh, these are magic. I, I will leave the shorts and my sweatshirt linked down below for you guys. Again, it's like super lightweight, perfect for summer nights. And I think it's the perfect color for summer too. It's kind of like a burnt orangey pinkish color. Um, also, there were some other ones. The tie day does vary. And the other ones have like um, a little bit of purple in them. Here's the shorts. And as you guys can see in this one, it has a little bit more like purple in them, if I can get it to focus. There we go. Um, has a little bit more purple in them versus um, my sweatshirt is all orange. So anyway, um, I will not be getting, keeping the slouchy shorts because they were just blah, but the mom jean shorts, I mean, they cover you where they need to be covered. They hold you in where you need to be held in and they accentuate your butt. Like even mine, which is a little bit like flatter, and I'm working on the um, like building it up right here. Super flattering, oh my gosh. And now I am officially out of breath because whenever I try clothes on, I feel like it's such a workout. And I'm like, oh my God, like squeezing into shorts and like, I don't know. Anybody else gets super like winded when they're trying clothes on? I swear it's like a workout for me. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, but. Anyway, this outfit is a total win for the summer. How cute! So here is the millionth clip of me. Um, also, there's like a piece of ramen noodles or something on my laptop. That's fun. Um, but the millionth clip of me answering emails and m, m, &M rustic messages and all the things. It is now 2.26. And I wanted to share the reality of getting my two-year-old to nap. I laid him down as soon as we got home at 12.30 and he has been just off and on scream crying. Poor guy. I think it's probably teething. Um, I did give him a little bit of Tylenol to help um, because he's he is getting his molars in. So, and then I even went, um, and I never do this, I went and laid with him for a little bit to try and soothe him and he's just not having it. He's not happy. But anyways, I just wanted to share a little bit of like the realness of my life right now and trying to get things done. Um, I just finally finished up with some Instagram and Eminem Rustic stuff 
and now I am going to attempt to clean, but I am scared to do that um, and film a clean with me. I'm scared to do that because if I run the vacuum or make any loud noises, it, he might be screaming, crying again. So anyways, that is the behind the scenes and why sometimes my cleaning videos get pushed off because it's just me here. He's in this like two-year-old sleep regression. It's like, or teething or something and it just makes things a little bit more difficult. Also, I need to put my Easter decor away still. It's definitely not Easter anymore. Okay, so another update. Yeah. It is now, oh, no, we can't touch it. It is now 3.13. And right, it's getting too late for him to even nap now, so no, no nap today. Oh, no nap today, huh? Want me to sit down? It's so posse. Eh? Hmm? Oh, now we're gonna stand up. What? What do you want? Uh-huh. You want a treat? A snack? Uh. All right, I am going to get back to filming my clean with me. It has been a day. This is, people ask me all the time how I get like the cleaning done when I have a two year old. And sometimes, honestly, it doesn't get done. <laughs> and other times I am cleaning up a mess as I am cleaning. So I'm just like cleaning in circles and circles. So anyway, that's the reality of today. Very needy boy. All, stuff. all right so that roast that i stuck in the crock pot this morning turned out so good i did one packet of the lipton onion soup mix with some hidden valley ranch seasoning um, a tablespoon of beef broth and then i just did like two mugfuls of water and then put the roast in with beef and brisket um, seasoning on top but kaya ate all of it had the egg white of a hard-boiled egg i guess and then mike just whipped up some instant mashed potatoes nothing special but as you can see it is a mess on the table after dinner, so typically this is about the time that Mike and I will team up and we will put all of this away, but... Anyway, so now it is 6.13 and I have a ton of m and Rustic messages that I've gotten in the last couple of hours that I need to get back to. So now I'm gonna sit down and I'm going to eat my food. Um, I am not going low carb keto tonight, if you guys are wondering. Um, I only had that breakfast bowl for breakfast, which was like, I think it's like 360 calories if I can, if I remember correctly. Um, and it's like, it's like 12 or 15 grams of carbs. Anyway, um, I'm having a half a cup of mashed potatoes and just some shredded roast beef. I'm going to eat that up. My goal is to be back on keto. Like every day is my goal to be back on keto. But honestly, I've been losing weight um, just because I'm doing a calorie restriction. That's the key to any diet. But um, I do like the way that I feel on keto more. I don't get as many headaches. I have a lot of alertness. And eventually, once I get down to my goal weight, I will stop that keto and I will transition into more of a normal diet like I am doing now. So it's, anyway, it's, it's still a calorie restriction and I'm still losing weight. Anyways, so I'm just gonna eat this up for tonight. I'm gonna get back to these M&M Rustic messages and then we typically transition into bedtime. So if this hasn't like shown you the chaos so far in the time in between that I haven't showed you guys, um, I was A, doing, our taxes and B, I was filming my clean with me video. So this is like the behind the scenes of like filming those cleaning videos. So, all right, I'm going to eat and then I'm going to message some people, get this stuff done. And what do you know, another clip of me getting back to Eminem Rustic messages. It's constant. I love the flexibility of working from home, but I am on my phone a lot. What's up, buddy? You want more of those chips? You just had dinner. Do you guys really need chips? Okay, we're going fishing. Just the two of us. You want a bob? Go get the bob out then. All right, next up on 
the nightly routine. Mike is feeding the dogs and giving them water. Um, and he's letting them go potty. And Kaya just had ice cream. Okay, so I need to get sheets on Kaya's bed. Sheets back on Riker's bed. He tore his off, I cleaned hers. Um, and then we usually put the TV on. Oh, I got these like strappies. Um, I usually put the TV on a 30 minute sleep timer. And I'll do like Planet Earth or Cocoa Melon. Yeah. Um, for them to go to sleep too, and usually by the time the timer's off, they are ready for the cocoa melon. Cocoa melon. Okay, that sounds good. I gotta find the TV remote now. I am literally out of breath. This is crazy. All right, now to track down the remote. Something else I wanted to quickly mention is we do bath time every other night. This one is not a bath night. Mike got the kids in bed while I made the bed. Mike actually picked up Kaya from daycare today too. So this was a very off day, but I'm glad I was able to film it and show you guys. All right guys, I'm trying to find the best lighting so I can wrap up this video. So now it is like 7.40, ready for bed. The kids will get out of bed at least a dozen more times, needing water, needing to go to the bathroom, needing a blanket, whatever it may be they will get out like at least a dozen more times. So my night does not quite end here, but I, end, I am going to end the vlog here for today. This day was a little bit different because Mike was not out in the garage doing orders tonight. It is a Thursday and tonight he actually had off from doing orders. I plan to film another one of these videos to show you like a day that what it looks like when Mike is out in the shop all night and, and soloing it with the kids because it does look a lot different on those nights. I love sharing all versions of like what my day in the life really looks like, what my daily t routine really looks like because it does change every single day. I have worked out of the house as an accountant. I've worked from home as an accountant and now I've worked from home as a self-employed individual and I will tell you what it is mentally taxing no matter what situation you're in um, I do have work for, like working out of the house uh, daily routine videos if you guys are interested and those are back from last year on my channel so if you just need to resonate with somebody and know that somebody else out there gets it I got you so anyways guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up I have lots of videos coming that are very similar to this to give you some real behind the scenes mom life day in the life daily routine etc if you guys are new here the kids are not going to bed and Mike's getting frustrated <laughs> anyways if you guys are new here I'd love it if you considered subscribing to my channel I do lots of day in the lifestyle content and routine style content just like this video so I will see you guys on Monday for another day in the life video. Okay. Bye guys.